Hey, hey, hi. I am IT PhD and today I'll tell you how to install and use msys 2 package for C language development. So first uh, go to msys2.org and at the main page you will find this installer. Download it and as always upload it to VirusTotal to check it on viruses. So yeah, uh, then let's run it. Let's run it. And we have installation, we press next. So it's downloading some meta information. And it suggests you directory where to put it. It's all right to put it on default spot. So it's starting installation process. It will take some time. Finally, installation finished and we can run it immediately. First of all, yeah, this is mint uh, terminal. First of all, we want to update our uh, system. So we say Pacman. Pacman is Arch Linux package manager. And we do like this, like software update. Yes. Okay, it's downloading some updates. Yeah, press Y. It's done. Now we should like restart terminal. We press Enter. Yes. Let's f first of all, I'll show you how it looks like. So in our uh, msys64 folder, we have uh, our um, repository for different platforms. We will install MinGV. Yeah. So now what we want, we want to start msys. We can, by the way, we could always uh, like clean cache because when you uh, download some updates it's always kind of mm, storing it but we do not have any cache so let's now check which packages available for us and there is a search command like software search and we want to install gcc compiler if you enter such command it will show you all uh, packages names which contain uh, gcc name in it Another way to search stuff, it's from the website. There is a package index. So if you would go there, the package index, here you could see if, like um, base packages or packages. And here you could also find it like this. Yeah. Uh, we need actually this one. Yeah. Also you could use this uh, package here, package search. So let's find it. GCC, this one. So what we are doing, we copy this name, copy, and we enter a command now. Pacman S and the name. So it's sh shift and sort to paste it. We do not need version number here and enter. Now it will download everything all these packages so it's like compiler compiler and all debugging all this stuff yes we want to download it it's 50 megabytes okay now it's done so after installation you would may notice that in mingv 64 folder we have a new stuff so it's our binary like compiler linker and uh, also we have some libraries, bi libraries, binaries, and some header files. So first of all, we should go to the path, to Windows path system, environment variables, and add binary folder to environment variables. Click on it, then click on path, edit, add new one, and browse. So we go to C, msys 64 MinGV64, bin. It's uh, where we, our binary lay. Okay, now let's make test project. Main.c and add here hello world. Like this. So let's, let's try now to compile it. 
I open PowerShell. To open PowerShell, nice life hack, press Shift and right mouse button on the desktop and choose Open PowerShell. And we compile our file like GCC main.c output main.exe. Okay, so we could start it now. Main. Hello world. Our compiler works. We could check version of our compiler with GCC dash v. And we see that it's our compiler which stays in our folder. Now let's install uh, GDB. We go to the start msys and we say pacman let's find it first so we make a search for the software with keyword gdb gnu debugger and you see there are plenty of gnu debuggers i go pacman s this one so we just copy it, shift uh, insert to paste it immediately and we're st uh, starting to install it. This way you also install like libraries, for example, I'll install ncurses library. And it's say what you what do you need for this GDB and we like say okay, let's install it. Okay, it's installed so we could find it in our folder here gdb exam everything done now we could compile and debug stuff thank you much for watching please subscribe to my channel i'll make more videos for you have a good day write your comments bye bye